Hey everybody, welcome back to more TJP Murdered Soul Suspect. And, uh, well, in the last episode, we found Baxter. Hey Bax, how you doing buddy? Good news, uh, he's dead, but he's still on our side. Uh, he and his empty, creepy eye socket went back to go, uh, help out Cassandra, uh, Joy's mom. So... We're, uh, exploring the catacombs under Judgment House, Colonial Cellar Plaque. The cellar in the home of a judge, uh, was often the temporary jail for prisoners awaiting trial. This custom was certainly in practice here, where the witch, where witch trial suspects were held awaiting the judgment of Judge ha Hawthorne. Uh, Long-term holding facilities were unnecessary in these cases, as the penalty for witchcraft under uh, under English law was always death. Okay, yay. Um, all right. There's definitely something hiding down here. Like, there's gotta be collectibles. Collectibles. No, nothing hiding in this first room. All of this space with nothing in it? Freaking color me surprised. Wow. Alright. Okie doke. Well then, let us continue on. Mm. Alright, nothing hiding in those nooks. Had to take a second, sh second look. No demons. Stern judging. There we go. You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. Righteous man, okay. The anger man points in the cell and claims to his accused that the punishment is due. Alright. Is this the person who's being punished? Analyze detail. Oh, it's what's her name? Um, imprisoned, pleading. You stood for justice. How is this just? Abigail was held prisoner and thought this punishment was unjust. Hey, you'd be right most of the time. What? Who drew this? That's a good damn question. The bell killer symbol was once drawn in the cell, but by whom? Hmm. I don't know. Um. Where the. Alright. Yeesh. A prison inside a prison, huh? Cage. Why would you need to cage someone who's already locked in a tiny cell? That was a good question. They cage him in here with something? No rest for the wicked. <laughs> that looks even less comfortable than the beds I had in prison. Okay. Uh, check the ceiling real quick. No? Alright. Hello. Collect that. Can I... Is this just like a little Rum Runner's uh, holdout? Is that what's going on here? There's nothing inspectable in here. Do 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 do. Inspector, ghost man. Alright, well I guess there was just that one collectible in here. Five out of seven clues. What did I miss? Ah, hello. Bound. 
Makes it feel more like a dungeon than a prison. Alright. And... Ooh, hello. Extinguished light. I bet these did almost nothing to combat the darkness down here. Alright. Seven out of seven. Let's find... What happened down here? Uh, imprisoned Abigail. Uh, righteous man. And... Symbol in the cell. You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. The families of those innocent souls you executed through false accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. It takes me to the ends of eternity. I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. Why? The guy who killed me is... Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? I gotta get out of here and figure out how to track her down. What the crap? Abigail is the bell killer? Huh. Okay. I mean, I guess... Hmm. Huh. I guess ghosts have their own, like, unique powers and stuff like that, but... Hmm... Is hers being able to puppeteer a person? Or control their mind or something. Oh, I'm gonna run into a crap ton of demons on the way out of here, aren't I? Like, that's just gonna be a thing. Oh, I bet it's gonna happen. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. If Rex is missing... It could be going down right now. Where'd you take Joy, you asshole? Where would Abigail take Joy? Uh, not to Judgment House. The Witness's Destination. What? Headed back to the police station to track down her mother's book. No. Church Attic. No new leads. What? Trillia. Uh, should check the top floor. Apartment. No. Actual Puritan. Ghost girl from the alleys is Abigail Williams. This gallows was actually used to execute her centuries ago. That's a relevant clue. Uh, killer's instrument of death. I was planning another murder. That's relevant. Okay. Uh, is Abigail the bell killer? Um, the church. Witness is staying in the nearby church. Killer's destination. Which thinks the killer was headed for the top floor apartment intentionally. It wasn't random. Church addict. Attic. Oh. Judgment House, one of Salem's historic sites, a mansion owned by a judge whose wishes were tried as part of the Senate. No, not here. No new leads. Okay, why is that the pertinent yeah. piece? Instrument of death, meaning her death, where she was killed. The gallows at the museum. Oh! Hang on, kid. I'm on my way. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. 
Alright, alright, alright. Track down Abigail. Has joy at the museum. Uh, okay. You know, I'm still missing two of those things. Hmm. That's bothersome. Oh, hello. Front door. Ooh. Hmm. I want to find the loot. Loot, loot, loot. Where are you? Loot, loot, loot. I'm coming for you. Hmm. Aha! Number one collected. All right. Uh, I wonder if there was something else I needed to remove somewhere and didn't. Oh my, yay, 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 yay. Okay, well, this could take a while. Yeah, I may have to edit some of this out, but let's see. Who knows? Could be very quick. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. All that nonsense. Alright, so there's one there. Special war room. Now that there's no demons prowling around, I can take my time and look through all this stuff. Wait, what? Oh, distract. Okay. Where... Is... Hello! Ghost story time. Ashes to ashes. Salem wasn't the most exciting place for a couple of rambunctious 13-year-olds. I mean, playing with my friends after school it usually required a healthy dose of imagination to spice up the underwhelmingly bleak landscape. To us, Salem's history was, was just a bunch of creepy stories and tourist attractions. I mean, witches didn't exist. We, we all knew that. That's why Robbie Barnes was the laughingstock of the entire school. I mean, he, he actually believed that they were real. Looking back, I, I wish I hadn't teased him so much. Maybe then he'd still be alive. I've, I forget which one of my friends actually came up with a plan to prank Robbie, but it didn't take him long to get us all on board. My job was to find an example of an old spell. It took me all of 15 minutes. And the library had practically every book ever written on the subject. The next step um, involved the, the Judgment House. It sat up on the hill, abandoned. Everyone said it was haunted. What made it even creepier were the rumors that Judge Hawthorne burned the remains of accused witches in the house's various fireplaces. And that's... that's where Robbie comes in. We dared him to sneak into the Judgment House in the middle of the night and collect a handful of ashes from each of the fireplaces. Then he'd have to light some candles, sprinkle the ashes, and read the spell. We told him that, if done correctly, the spell would supposedly blow out all the candles. If he agreed to do all this and the candles so much as it's flickered, we would promise to stop making fun of him. We could, we could see that he was scared, but to his credit, he agreed to go through with it. What we didn't tell him 
was that we had set up a hidden camera to catch all the hilarity on tape. The next day, Robbie didn't come into school. We, we assumed he had chickened out and was too embarrassed to face the music. Then I heard that Robbie went missing. I felt the chill run down my spine as I retrieved the tape from our hidden camera. Press play and fast forward until I saw Robbie. He was doing just as we instructed him to. Then, a shadowy figure crossed in front of the camera. Robbie turned in horror just as the camera cut the static. When the image finally returned, Robbie was gone. And the only sign that anything had happened at all was the now smoldering fireplace over in the corner. Okay. Children are mean. All right. Let's get the crap out of here. Uh, which way was I headed now? Is it this way to get out of Creepy Town? No, that's downstairs. I don't want to go downstairs. Wanna... No? Wanna get out of Creepy Town. I don't want to go further into it. this where where did I come in at? Oh my yay 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 Where did I where's my okay here's my fireplace. Excellent. Let's GTFO Trundle Ronin Trundle as fast as you can Drop Yes, and then we enter town. I feel like we might be getting close to the end of the game here, guys. Mm hmm. Salem History Museum. Wait a minute. They about to Okay, all right. For some reason, I was expecting demons in the streets. That was really going to suck, but I guess not. Hmm. And then we go this way. And in the museum, a uh, whoa! What was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, the, into the museum. No one deserves to be murdered, and when the psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it, that just makes it all the more twisted. Doors open. Doesn't that just look inviting? Hey, yay, hey, hey. Well, okay, you guys. I'm going to cut it here. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to like, subscribe, share. Helps the channel. Helps me out. And you want to support me directly, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash the gym plays. You can uh, help me out directly by becoming a patron there. All right, you guys. Thank you very much, and I will catch you in the next one. Stay a while and listen. Shall we play a game? That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.